Buongiorno, fellow travellers. Welcome back. Are you in the process of planning a trip to Rome? Today we have all the information you'll need to ensure that your stay in the Eternal City is perfect for you. We'll be discussing the best places to stay in the capital of Italy, tailored to seven different types of traveller, explaining how and why they are the best suited to each. You may think it's best to stay in the very centre of Rome, regardless of your plans, but trust us, that isn't always the case. So if you want to find out why, don't go anywhere. For our first time visitors, we actually do often recommend staying within the historic centre. While staying in the centre comes with a cost, it will put you right in the heart of all the ancient Roman sites, I'm sure one of the reasons you're visiting, right? It will offer you great convenience, allowing you to explore all of the major attractions on foot. Even if you stay on the outskirts of the historic centre, by the Colosseum, it will be no more than an enjoyable 50 minute stroll to your furthest main attraction, Vatican City. By locating yourself at the heart of the city, you'll also have great food and nightlife options on your doorstep to maximise your first time visiting. And if you're visiting Rome and want to have the perfect three-day itinerary covering all the main sites, check out our travel guide video with the pop-up link above. Whilst you may think the city centre is the best place to stay for anyone visiting Rome, that's an easy mistake to make. It's important to think about the type of trip you're on and whether somewhere else would better suit. Firstly, the city centre is one of the more expensive areas to stay due to the high demand and convenience. But if you fall into one of the next six categories that we're about to walk through, you might want to consider staying somewhere else. If you're backpacking your way around Italy or Europe, or on a budget and you're keen to avoid high cost accommodation, you should consider staying in hostels or budget friendly guest houses in areas like San Lorenzo or Testaccio. These neighbourhoods offer affordable options and a vibrant local atmosphere, allowing you to experience Rome without breaking the bank. From both neighbourhoods, you can reach Rome's centre by taking a bus for 20 minutes. You can easily save over $100 a night by making this choice, allowing you to save some of your money to explore more of Italy. With the money you save on accommodation, you could have a day trip to Florence, only 90 minutes away by train, for around €25. Euros. See how choosing the right accommodation is key? And we've got a one day guide for visiting the capital of Tuscany for next week's video, so subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Now for the opposite end of the budget, our luxury travellers. If you're looking for 5 star accommodation or particular facilities like spas, consider staying in the upscale area of Via Veneto. This area boasts a great selection of high-end hotels, Michelin-style restaurants and designer boutiques, providing you with a lavish experience during your stay in Rome. However, still not too far away from the action of the main sites, this offers a nice compromise between convenience and luxury. Now, something for all peak season travellers to consider. If you're visiting Rome in the height of the European summer, consider staying in quieter neighbourhoods outside the city centre, such as Pirelli or Prati. Why? These areas offer a reprieve from the huge tourist crowds while still providing easy access to major attractions via public transport, ensuring a more peaceful stay during the busy season. You can reach the city centre from Pirelli in 35 minutes on public transport, and from Prati it's only 20. There are also many hotels offering swimming pools in these areas compared to central Rome, so you can spend half days in the city and then cool off in your hotel pool away from the bustling crowds. For families with children, especially young children, you should look into staying near Villa Borghese or the Vatican City. These areas offer family-friendly accommodation options and easy-to-access green spaces and attractions suitable for children, such as parks, museums and some much-needed gelato, ensuring a fun and memorable stay for the whole family. You'll be able to find some great options on websites such as Airbnb to suit your family budget. For romantic couples, we recommend staying in the charming neighbourhood of Trastevere. This area offers those picturesque Roman side streets, quaint cafes and intimate settings for perfect romantic strolls and candlelit dinners, making it an ideal choice 
for a romantic getaway in Rome. You'll be able to find some charming boutique hotels so you can impress your partner when you arrive in Rome together and enjoy being the smug half of the relationship after nailing the perfect accommodation. And finally, for those planning an extended stay in Rome, consider renting an apartment in a residential neighbourhood like Aventino or Giannicolo. These areas are a little further out but offer a more local experience with access to markets and cafes but equally important, they have great transportation connections, allowing you to settle in and truly live like a Roman during your extended visit. And there you have it, our recommendations on where to stay in Rome, tailored to different types of travellers. We hope this guide helps you plan your perfect stay in the Eternal City. If you found this video helpful, help us by liking this video and subscribing for more travel tips. We've got some great guides on visiting Italy on our channel, so do check those videos out. But as always, thanks for watching and happy travels.